Okay, so um, what I'm going to do next here is I'm going to um, show you how we get our model out of Blender, the custom model we made out of Blender, and get it into Unity. And let's see here. I want to make sure I've got my fourth block flyer opened up because that's the one that I'm going to do this all to as I, as I set this up. So do make sure that uh, in your collection that you have no, no camera, no light, just your model just the individual pieces that make up your model. Um, uh, remember that your model should have been broken up into its component pieces, you know, like that's my left wing's frame, and inside there is my left wing's panels. Um, this has allowed me to apply specific materials to these objects. So what we're going to do here is we're going to export this model out. Now, there's going to be a problem with the way we export this thing out. If I click on the body right now, the z-axis is in the up direction and it's going to create a problem in unity but it's nothing that we can't fix very easily so like i was saying uh, this transform is not pointing in the right direction if we're going to use this to actually fly our ship but we'll fix that over in unity so i'm going to click file export fbx just take the standard settings right here. I am going to navigate directly to my project. So this is, I'm going to be putting this in my fourth block flyer, in the assets folder, in the models folder. And it's called TIE Fighter. I'm going to go ahead and take off the underbar 12 and just call it TIE Fighter. And I'll export the FBX. Now that's going to take me over to fourth block where now in my models folder, I've got a TIE Fighter. And if I lift this up, I could see, okay, it's a cute looking TIE fighter model that's there. And I'm going to drag this model into the hierarchy and drop it. And then I'm going to zoom in on this thing and take a look at it. Now, as I look at this, what I notice about this object, if I have the parent object selected, the parent object is this empty right here, this empty game object called TIE fighter. Well, it's not so empty in that it's like the parent. It contains all of the components that make up my, 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 my fighter, my TIE fighter. That transform is not pointing in the correct direction. For this vehicle, forward is over here. That's, that's the front. So that's, I want the blue axis to be pointing in that direction. To fix this, what we do is we're going to, with the parent object selected, we're going to right click and we're going to select prefab unpack completely. This is going to completely it just it makes this all just brand new objects that they have. It's lost its tie to this thing, this thing called TIE Fighter down here. It's no longer connected to it. These are all their own objects and Unity's handling them as, as if they were Unity objects. And then what I want to do is I want to select all of the pieces that make up my TIE Fighter. So I've got all those components, you know, select the first one, hold my shift key, select the last one. I've got all those components selected. Then I'm going to drag them and just drop them. See that blue bar that's going in between the two objects there? I'm going to drop them into that, that spot right there. And now I have detached them from the parent object. Of course, these things are all still sitting together. And that parent object, I want to do a rotation, I think in Y of, I think, is it 90? Nope. It's negative 90. There we go. Now, that parent object that I had, TIE Fighter, now has its z-axis pointing in the correct direction. Now I'm going to take all of these pieces right here. These are the pieces that make up my TIE Fighter. And I will drag them and drop them back inside my TIE Fighter. And if I click back on the TIE Fighter itself, its forward is now pointing in the correct direction. All right, so that's one of the first steps you have to do when you get it into you get it into Unity. You have to take the model, unpack it completely, take the, the components that make up the model out of the parent object, reorient the parent object so that the z-axis, the positive z-axis is pointing in the correct direction. and then put all of the children objects back inside the parent. Then right here at the very end, I'm going to collapse that, go to my prefabs folder, 
and I'm going to drag this TIE Fighter out of the hierarchy and drag it into my prefab folder, making it into a original prefab. And now it's been taken into a prefab and uh, I can now begin to work on this to get it ready to take over as the vehicle that's going to be doing the flying. I'll talk about that in the next video.